Fantastic. Hello, world. How's everybody doing? I'm not sure if you can see me, but uh, I hope so. Yeah, I can see me, so that's a good thing. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to do some compositing in good old Photoshop. So hello, everybody. And in Illustrator. In fact, you can see just kind of a quick composite right away right here. All right. So should be back online now. And you should be able to hear me just fine. And uh, yeah, we're going to dive into this. Uh, just waiting for some of the chat to kind of roll through. So I'm just going to refresh a couple times as we wait for people to get here. I don't really see anybody saying anything just yet. Okay. But uh, anyways, maybe you can only hear me in one ear. That's kind of okay. But hey, this isn't about audio. It's about visuals. So uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna be um, diving into this. Compositing, I'm actually, yeah, I am actually, um, yeah. Broadcasting from Colorado, so just wondering where you guys are from and what you guys are doing. I'm totally interested and uh, just kind of waiting for people to kind of file in. So let's we'll keep it refreshing this page, and uh, we'll get this rocking. All right. All right, let's dive into this. Uh, and yes, so uh, let's share my screen now, actually, and I'm just going to get rolling. There we go. Cool. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a slate. This is kind of what I'm going to work on, but hey, Illustrator, Photoshop, all does compositing, whether you're doing compositing with text, like you see here, text and uh, graphics and visuals. Uh, that's usually the case, even a more advanced compositing with lots of images. I'm actually going to start out in Illustrator, so you guys feel free. Just holler, hello. Everybody's like really quiet right now. What's going on? What is going on? It is Friday. Cheers to that. So, I'm sharing my screen, kind of something I was working on. You can see it right here, in fact, this original... Uh, photo that I'm in a composite with so yeah all right uh, David Ash it is Friday isn't it thank you friend I'm gonna talk to David because he's the only one in chat but how you doing today buddy I'm going to dive into this right away, and I showed this the other day actually on the Facebook Illustrator page, but um, in general, I'm going to dive into just doing some compositing. So I'm going to start out in Illustrator, and I have a photo here. Obviously, this is going to be raster, and I can quickly vectorize it, okay, and that's what I want to do. But before I even vectorize it, and again, I got this from good old stock.adobe.com. So that's where I went, stock.adobe.com. In fact, I could just search right in here, right up at the top, right up here. I can search for elegant woman, right? I just want like a nice poetic image. And that's what I'm doing right now as I'm searching on that. It actually popped up on my other screen, but we can see it here in a second as it starts to be displayed, right? So that's where these images came from. You can see this is the image that I have licensed, by the way. There's the image. I've saved it to this uh, fly, what I'm calling fly, 
um, happens to be my Creative Cloud library. So that's where that image came from, okay? So it's great. There's some other really cool images in here. Fantastic. But that's where I got most of my stuff. All right. Cool. Impacto Gaming. I'm doing well, uh, David Ash. Uh, I'm going to be... Hopefully you can hear me, darn it. Uh, you might only hear me in one ear, which might be kind of weird. Uh, that's just kind of the stereo to mono thing going on. But, um, yeah, that's might be might be what's what's going on there but other people can hear me so uh, David can you hear me just say yes if you can but that's where I got this image and in Photoshop it's just a matter of what I want to do is isolate her so I've isolated her just by selecting the background right pretty standard right you can use magic wand you use pick your poison here whatever you want to use to sort of select the background to isolate this woman right awesome David thank you appreciate it so I'll select these you know this background because I want to just isolate her and that's what I've done here right turn that into a layer mask boom right and then this is new actually we have this David I don't know if you know about this I in back to impacto gaming I'm actually talking to you so hopefully you can hear me impacto gaming and I'm here for uh, to answer any questions you guys might have because I'm doing some Photoshop compositing some illustrator compositing but first we're isolating the image so impacto I'm talking to you buddy cheers thank you weird videos al Iraqi al Iraqi Iraq al Hussein uh, you want me to make a photo of you and write it on an image? Yeah, potentially. Potentially, because you know what? This is live and we can do that sort of thing. So I am saving your name. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it because I need to show you this new feature right over here, guys. Select and mask, right? So I know I need to kind of do a better job of masking out her hair. Well, if I select select and mask, and I've actually kind of already drawn over this somewhat as it is, but you have all the features that you need when it comes to selecting and masking out parts. So I've actually used the second option, which is your refined edge brush. And that's where you're just going to go around the hair and it's going to select the white in the hair and not won't eliminate the hair itself, right? So that's what you do. Obviously, you can use the selection tool to select things. You can hold down the alt key and that will remove, which is what I'm doing right now as well. Okay, you could use the lasso tool, but it's all those tools that you that you know and love all within this interface, right? So if I want to remove something, I just have to hold down the alt key and I can remove that part. I can clean this up a little more if I want to, but this is select and mask. And that's what I'm doing at this point. Selecting and masking. Done. Okay. Good. I'm glad you like the music. Weird videos. Appreciate that. So here it is. Uh, again, here's the image, and I can refine this some more, but what I want to do is actually save it to my Creative Cloud library. Boom! There it is. It's saved. I've actually already saved it in there just to save us time. So we have this, you know, woman. Nice, elegant dress, just like I have this sharp dress, as he's known, handsome guy sitting on a chair. Also came from Adobe Stock. But these are the images that I'm going to be using, right? So I'm using this woman image. I can jump into Illustrator after I kind of cut her out. And then now I have her isolated. So I don't have to worry about vectorizing the background. It's just going to be her. So this is fantastic. You know, taking this image as we can see right now, selecting her image trace. In fact, I'll click that button right there. So you guys might know this. I don't know, David, David Ash, I don't know if you know about sort of vectorizing images. You could see how it happens here. And what actually went down, if I just show you this background, you could see that she's still on white, okay? But that's what it does is it's actually going to, I can expand this and I can ungroup it and then I can start to play with this and potentially select the same fill color and now we have her again isolated that silhouette look right easy enough so yeah David you're familiar with this you can get so in-depth with this by the way and I mean I know I have and I would say when it comes to you know tracing an image again for compositing 
I select this image right here, there's a bunch of other options as you click on that arrow to the right. Okay, and I can show you the top ones. Default, which is what it just does. Default is a lot like black and white logo. Low fidelity is good. Three colors, six colors. All right, I'm going to do three colors, by the way, because we're going to get this nice posterized look. It's going to analyze that. It's actually still going to give me that somewhat of a skin color. Right. There she is, flat, expanded out. I can ungroup it if I want to. And what I can also do is I can go into path and I can say, hey, you know what? Let's simplify this path, right? Let's, I can make it super simple. Look what happens. Blub, blub, blub. But I want to just kind of keep it in the 90s. And that smooths her out, simplifies the path. That's done. And again, this is more along the lines of what I want. So again, I can delete that. I can have fun by selecting that same fill color, changing that to a gradient if I want to as well. And now we have a nice... This is like the 80s redo, right? Because it has that fancy, you know, 2016 color, I think, but kind of has that uh, Vargas style from the 80s. How you doing? I'm here to answer your questions, guys. So fire away. We got a low-key, pretty chill group. I like it. Uh, let's go beyond that. Okay, so I still have this original. Let me show you one more thing when it comes to like vectorizing. The cool thing about once I have these vectorized is I get to play with this all I want. But it's not just image trace that I have to deal with. There's other things I can do. So I'll just embed this image into this Illustrator file. And this is my favorite new thing, by the way, is if I go into Pixelate into Color Halftone. Right? Make a Color Halftone. Let's do about 50 the radius of the pixels so these circles are going to appear that about 50 pixels big right and I can offset these channels by the way 200 100 20 120 clicking OK you'll see what happens this is the stuff that Photoshop can't do by the way uh, nothing against Photoshop because both are equally powerful that's why I'm covering both boom there it is and again you just have that sort of that uh, print look so you can see the CMYK right there done and done right so that again is just a nice look going beyond that I'm gonna do this once more and then I'm gonna jump into Photoshop I'm gonna zero these out so there is no channeling at all and we'll keep that at 50 clicking OK it's gonna do its thing uh, yes yeah, so Jeremy this is live this will be recorded um, yeah, man, and this is this is what it's all about. This sort of skill set, doing what I'm doing right now, playing with this image like I've just done, you know, posterizing it uh, in that case. In fact, I could do that with this image back here. One more time, really fast. I always duplicate, so I have that backup. <laughs> One more time, boom, because I really... I really like this look, but I have this all this vector data now, so I can take these shapes and I can stroke them, right? So that looks really good. I like that, but I can, again, take these strokes. I can um, take this particular image and trace it now, essentially, so we're going to have that vector data. I can remove the white. I can then bring it into Photoshop, so that's my next step. Uh, how can how how can I how can you easily cut photos in Photoshop Touch? So actually, what you should use there is you should use Photoshop Mix if you're trying to cut out photos, cut out you know a foreground from a background. Try Photoshop Mix because there all you do is drag with your finger. It's awesome. So my sound is low. Hopefully I sound okay. Uh, let's take a look. All right, let's do this. So I sound a little monotone. Do I sound all right, guys? I know my hair's looking good. I think that's what matters, right? You know it. There it is. Expand that out. All these little dots. Love it. Let's ungroup that. 
Okay, so we have all those vectors, and now we can have fun with this. I just love this like eye chart look that we have going on here. It's kind of it looks like a woman from far away, but as you zoom in, you can see all of those different colors. So I'm going to select this white, select same, fill color, delete, right? And now we have that look there. In fact, I noticed some of these other little dots that I might select. Ooh. Select the same, fill color, delete, right? Sort of that look in general, you get the idea. Some blue in here, because I did 16 colors. Right, we have all those little dots that we like. It looks good. I could take this. I could bring this into Photoshop, just copying this. A number of ways I could do this, actually. I can even take all these shapes and drag them right into my Creative Cloud library. Yeah, Jeremy, you work it, buddy. You're doing some After Effects. Love After Effects. So that's being synced. It's called Artwork 1. That's cool. I'll go into Photoshop. I can start working on this. File new. File new. And I can get to work sort of dropping her in and doing some compositing in Photoshop, right? So that's what I typically do is I do a cross between, say, some vector content and raster, so jumping between Photoshop and Illustrator. I might need more shapes. In fact, what I also need is I'm going to do this really fast because I actually need to draw out a... If I take a look. All my tools got a little reorganized. Because I am using... Wait for it. Shaper tool. All right, so it's hidden. It's with the pencil, but the shaper tool. Because what I actually want to do is uh, I want to draw just a triangle. Okay, so that's one of the elements I need. Right, and watch how rough I'll do it. It's like, okay, I think I suck at drawing triangles. Oh, no, Paul, you're pretty good at drawing triangles. i like, thank you very much, Illustrator. I appreciate it. Right, sort of expanding that out, changing the color if I want to, you know, just go with white. Maybe eliminate that stroke there, but that's the triangle that I want to use. And again, can drag all the shapes that I want to in my library, and then I can start on my design right over here with those shapes. As you can see, it's loading in right here, and it's called a triangle. That's just a simple example, because I don't want to keep you guys here too long. I want to get to this fun compositing stuff that I'm doing. I'm dropping that in. Let's add a gradient in the background. New gradient. Little, little pink. A little, maybe a little teal. Because that's what I'm into. Flip it. Right, boom, boom. We're well on our way. There's our design. Again, created an illustrator. I can start doing some of that compositing that you might have seen in that uh, sort of the promo illustration. Uh, I could always double click on it. If I want to change it, I can see it loaded in here. We can see that woman right here. And again, I can do all the manipulation that I want. All right, so let's move on. All right. Saludos de Argentina. Hello from Argentina, Barbie. Good to see you. I love Argentina. I mean, who doesn't, right? I've been to, been to um, Buenos Aires before. So 
There it is. Let's align this. Let's get some let's get some fast work done, huh? Shall we? We have that. Scaling that up. Want to see another cool compositing trick that's going to blow your mind, guys? All right, I'll show you something else. And it's cool that I have this flexibility and I can start to have some fun like with this. Um Boom. All right. So uh, let me show you something else. This is going to be really awesome, by the way, is uh, sort of making this small world. That's what I want to do is to kind of make a small, small world sort of design, right? So let's save this file real fast because this is what we're working on. Comp to my desktop. And uh, let's go over here. Let's actually just turn off a lot of these layers. I'm just going to steal something from here to make this easy. All right, so as part of the promo design that you saw, uh, actually that you might have tuned into because of it, let's drop this image in here. This is Los Angeles, right? So I want to do some modern design, right? So so very hipster, seeing as I have the uh, good old um, that triangle there and these these hip colors. I can do a Command T, and then if I right click, I can flip vertical. Okay, that's the easiest way to get to flip vertical, just like that. Okay. So uh, I have that. I might draw a circle out real fast. Let's do that. I'm trying to get to awesome as fast as possible. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Emil? Hey, buddy, what's up? Good to see you, Nori. All right, yeah, this is all free, guys. Uh, at least this, this training is, essentially. So this Los Angeles cityscape panorama. I'm gonna convert this to a smart object. This is what I wanna do. I wanna wrap it like around the center point. So I'm gonna turn this into a small world. So notice how I've cut it out and I flipped it on the top. And that's the one thing you have to do, it's a little little tip. Uh, but then you can go into distort and distort by polar coordinates. All right, so I'll just pause there for a second and zoom in on that. Distort polar coordinates. So as long as my image is kind of lined up at the top because that's where it forms it from and you can see there it's going to make this small world wrapping it around that center point and then i can start to sort of adjust the size let's scale it up like that okay so there's our somewhat i'm i call it a small world because essentially that's that's what you're making and i should could show you plenty of different examples of this that i've that I've made, but I just did this quick one for you guys because I thought it'd be cool to wrap this around that sphere. Right? There it is. Maybe it's kind of behind that. This is scaled down. You guys get the idea. Small world. It is a small world, isn't it? So be nice to your neighbor. We'll take her, uh, this part, that, right? You get the idea. How you guys doing? David, what's up, buddy? It does look like a CD cover. I feel like, yeah, it's totally like an album cover or something. Totally agree. It's kind of hipster design. It's what I think of it as. All right, so let's move beyond this. <clears throat> Dropping in some more photos. Let's grab this one. Use heavy use. So I was, I was actually uh, working today earlier um, on uh, the Twitch channel, actually, because I'm on there on the Adobe Twitch channel. And uh, they didn't know, I was talking to somebody who didn't know about s clipping, clipping masks. So, <laughs> yeah, David, like, what's a, what's a CD? I have no idea. So, David, basically, um, are you aware of clipping masks? Because you all should, all 74 of you should be aware of clipping masks. But I'll zoom in here, and basically I'm going to say, hey, put this panorama mountain scene inside of that circle. Hold down the option key, click, and now it's being clipped by that circle. I'll zoom out. You can obviously see that's what's going on. So before, after, you get the idea. Boom. 
hipster design here this is hipster design 101 I gotta work on coloring I get it I get it um, let's make it work let's make let's, let's make magic happen huh I love this background though Select all that stuff. Boom. Invert. Deselect. Move it down. Drag it over. My new landscape. Boom. In there. Shrink it down. You guys have a wonderful weekend planned? I hope so. Uh... Yeah, so Emil, like that's going to be a lifesaver, the fact that I have this clipping mask. So I, I use it all the time, right? Especially like in this case, as I zoom in, it's always going to be clipped. So look, this can have a mask applied to it, and then it is a clipping mask in and of itself. So that just allows me to have that sort of control to kind of move that over and do what I want with it, okay? Um, Trying to figure out what I want to do. Shrink this up a little bit so we see more of these lovely mountains. These happen to be the Colorado mountains where I actually live here and I'm actually in Denver. Okay, we can do that. Coloring is off, of course, for this Los Angeles cityscape panorama. I could do levels or I could do curves. You pick your poison there. You know, I can adjust the contrast, all that fun stuff. I could duplicate this later layer, this gradient fill, right? I think she kind of looks cool sitting there like that, but I think she's going to be too big. So let's shrink her down just like that. She's going to go, I'll just kind of drop her into the, uh, that background here in a second. We're going to have her melt into the background. So that oh cancel there she is all right what if i put the mountains behind the city uh great idea emil uh, i actually was going to do that i actually have a different scene that i was going to put back there too so um let me just kind of grab it i'm cheating because i was working on this earlier, but I I will put a background back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you guys like this music? This not non copyright music. bringing that to the back, right? This happens to be, you said you wanted a background. This is actually just like a nice color because this is essentially what it is. It's this, this nice scene, right? Even that doesn't look bad, right? It's not the color scheme I'm going for, but the mountains, instead of mountains, we're gonna go with this, this nice scene behind the city. And let's try to shrink up some of this stuff for our own sanity because it's going to make for a better design and we'll get this wrapped up because I'm trying to do something in in 40 minutes maybe 45 that's my goal There we go. Adding that color, guess what? Let's change the color mode. Cycle through that. I'm just holding on the shift plus. That will enable you to kind of toggle through the 
See, this is nice, like that. And then I'm going to show you my new favorite feature, by the way, when it comes to coloring. I'll show you that. Um, oh, I hope there isn't, like, any pixelation, guys. I have this at set at 3,000 kilobits per second. And there is a little bit of music. Can you not hear the music, Emil? Uh, can I create a photo for you in Photoshop? Yeah, I'm creating you one right now. I'll Iraqi. So boom, this is what we have. Where's our fun um, triangle shape right here, back there? Let's increase its size. You know, again, hipster, hipster design. This layer modes too. Kind of cycle through those. Let's see, soft light is good. That's not even bad. That's not bad. Again, we're just having fun here, guys. Let's drop in some more images. Again, this is our CD, as David has... Thank you! Yes, yeah, so David, you're... You, um... You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, color lookup. I don't know if you're following me on uh, Twitch and stuff, but that's my new favorite thing. Color lookup. It's fantastic. But we need more than just uh just her. Let's grab our let's grab her date. She has a date this weekend. Where's the that's this guy? There's her date. He's like, hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? What you doing? Let's do this. Flip her. So she follows that curve. Get our guy right here. Let's knock out the background. Easy enough. Constantly using, uh, you know, the quick selection and magic wand, like interchangeably. Right. There it is. That looks good. Check this out. I did this earlier. I didn't really show you the cutting out process fully, but click. Boom. There he is. Let's invert that. There's our guy. Oh, look. We totally tore up his forehead. We could fix that easily. And I'll show you how in a second. By going to select and mask. Now we're inside of a select and mask. Zoom in. I can change this color because since he's on red, I might change it to like a blue just so we can see it a little easier. And I can start sort of selecting what I want. You can see I'm just like selecting his forehead because I kind of screwed up that part. If I want to get more accurate, obviously I have the lasso tool selecting his forehead right there. All this hard edge, well, let's fix that because we have this refine edge tool coming up here. Makes that look good. That stuff disappears. He has a little bit of like a little scruff. Let's take care of that. Click OK. Done. Yeah, so Brian, you can see this uh, tutorial later, definitely. Uh, that's why I'm doing it. Everybody's running around. It is a three-day weekend, so kind of figured we wouldn't have a ton of people today, but I still wanted to do something because, hey, I'm a workaholic. Actually, I just like creating cool stuff, so yeah deal with it right so there he is dropping him in shrinking him down making sure he looks good i can rasterize that layer apply that layer mask and do something like that there he is all right so she needs to be she needs some levels as well because that black needs to be black boom and that's done he's actually a little bit of pink I can adjust that hue as well. Or excuse me, he's a little bit of red, needs to be pink. Yeah, that's done. All right. Let's throw some birds in there and then we'll like wrap up this design. So these birds I actually got, again, off of Adobe Stock. We could see one's right here. 
Here's, here are these birds that I've actually already extracted. We can see them right here again. It's just one image. It's like perfect. It's crows. Actually, blackbirds, I guess. But I don't know if blackbirds are the same as crows. I learned that there's a difference between crows and um, ravens. So in the U.S., we have crows. They travel in at least pairs. And they have the favorite, my favorite, like, herd name, if you will, but... It's a murder of crows, which I love that. It just sounds cool. There's a murder of crows. And there's our murder of crows. All right. Such a cool. Like if I had an emo band, I'd call it murder of crows. <laughs> right. And there they are flying away as we'd expect. Little bird on the shoulder. Hey, why not? Zoop. It's like a little, it's got a little bird on your shoulder there, huh? It's got a little bird. It's a little bird hanging out. Hey, why not? All right, cool guys. Um, yeah, Emil, do you guys have any questions? We have 66 watching. This is what I've come up with, which actually happened pretty fast. And uh, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm just gonna go through looks. We'll be done in five minutes. The crows are your alarm clock. I wonder where you live, David. Don't tell me your exact address. I'm just saying, like, the city. <laughs> How do you flip a layer without an entire, uh, an entire uh, file flipping? Is right here for this crow. In fact, I need to get rid of that little line. Got some little residual. But uh, it's usually right in here. You'll do flip horizontal or flip vertical. That'll just flip the layer, okay? Image... And then you'll see flip canvas is different. Here's your shortcut though, because you'll learn that free transform is command T. So I do command T, right? And then if you right click, you have an easier access to flip horizontal and flip vertical, right? So that's what I do is I just do command T, boom, and then flip it any way I want. But you have all those controls right in there and uh, you're good to go. That's awesome. All right, so that little residual something or some something well something something is uh in there and I can fix that, but I'm gonna wrap this up and say, oh yeah, I was gonna wrap this up with looks real fast. Boom, image adjust. Ooh, sorry. Layer, new adjustment layer, color lookup. This is pretty new, but it, I'm basically saying, hey, you know what? Like maybe I don't want to use that tint, which that's what I've done and I like that and I could blur out the background, I might do that, but like turn that off. And now what I want to do is use a color lookup, a LUT, okay? And I can start to go through these. Let's take a look at a two strip. Boom, you're welcome, right? Awesome. Let's try what else we have. A three strip, boom. Bleach bypass, no, but it's not bad, right? Candlelight. Super cool. I'm saving candlelight. And what this does is this is going to even the tone because when you're doing compositing, you your color profiles, if you will, are all over the place. But this obviously kind of unifies it as a scene. And sure, he's tinted and she's not, but that's okay. You get the idea. Uh... <laughs> Al Iraqi, you really want that photo, don't you? You really want your name on a photo, huh, there, buddy? <laughs> oh, too funny. I'll tell you what. You follow me on Twitter. You hit me up on Twitter, and I will I will send you an image with your name on it. Now, we're not going through all these. I'm actually finishing this up because it's about that time. That even looks cool, right? I mean, come on, really? Yeah, that, that just happened. I love this. Let's duplicate this layer. Change this to normal. Fade it out. And this is going to be my final image. Maybe I'll tint it. Oops.
There we go. Cause I want, I kind of want his silhouette of his, his face. And then we can cheat that in. Cool. All right, guys. Well, this is the version I'm going to go with. And, uh, uh, you love color look three. Okay. Good to know, Emil. Let me take a look at, is this the third one? This is kind of the third one in my list, but let me just see what that looks like. Cause Hey, this is live and we can do that sort of thing. I have three strip, but maybe you like the third one. That's even not bad. I don't know. I'm kind of like in this mood for whatever reason. And uh, I can still, you know, punch it up a little bit. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Cool. How can I resize my brush with shortcuts? It's just going to be the open curly brace and closing curly brace. And so I'm going to just start casting my keys. Here's my brush. See how I'm... I'll move this over here. These are the keyboard shortcuts. See, as I'm hitting it, it gets larger. And then I hit the uh, the opening. And then the closing will do that. Here's another one. I'll do one better. Let me click on a new layer. If I hold down the control and option key, this is a visual representation of the brush. So as I scroll left and right, I can visually like see what size this brush is going to be. And then if I scroll up and down, that adjusts the hardness. So if I want a large, soft brush, I can go, say, up and then to the right. Okay. So again, that's a shortcut. I don't know many people that know that or whatever, but, you know, it's kind of cool. Right, cool. Last thing I'm going to do is just selfishly, why not? Any more questions? Um... What's the effect for getting the landscape into the circle? Luckily, guys, I swear I've done this tutorial before. I gotta check my own site, my own YouTube channel. Um, it's just kind of a small world look. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, uh, I've done it on a stream before, but, um, It basically involves polar coordinates, but it's great that this stream is live and being recorded as well, because you could watch this later on at your own convenience and review anything that you might have missed as I'm doing right now. Any numbers that you see, if you scroll over them, stretch it out. Hey, why not? There you are. Selfish, shameless self-promotion, guys. You guys get the idea. With the murder of crows, all that good stuff, I say we're about done. If you guys don't have any more questions for me, I uh, might get going here. Can add a little bit of a blur to it. You guys like that blur better? Does that look better? Ego. What an ego putting your name on it. I don't know. Well, that's what you start with. You create a cool image for your website or whatever else. All right, guys. Well, cool. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, which option key? Sorry, alt key. Maybe you might know it as an alt key, but control and alt. I'm on a, on a Mac. So... Yeah, it kind of looks like an Illuminati, like, secret, secret club. <laughs> Super digit. Yeah, I've ruined your social life. But you know what? It's This is going to make you popular. You know how to do this stuff. Right? And pretty standard computer. This is a, a MacBook Pro from about two years ago. I don't know, 16 gigs of RAM, something like that. Uh, recording will be on the YouTube channel. Be right here, guys. So, yeah, you'll have at that. In fact, again, the reason I did this is because I'm going to, you know, save this out. I'm going to post it on to social media right now. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to see it. Nice and neat and glorious. Why not? Cool, guys. All right, if there aren't any more questions, I'm going to slowly wind down. Uh, it's actually P-T-R-A-N-I on Instagram, too, and that's where this is going right now, so that's what I'm doing. Cool. Now I'm just stalling. 
Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you, Gregory. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies about this. And uh, we would appreciate it. Look for this on uh, Twitter in about two minutes. So thanks so much, guys. I'm going to be respectful of your time. Enjoy your three-day weekend if you're in the U.S. or wherever you are. Enjoy the next three days. Heck, enjoy the rest the rest of the week. Enjoy next week. Why not? Create stuff. Show it to me. Would love to see. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. I am out.